Um, I don't know if I ever talked about this, but I want to be a buyer. I went to school for fashion merchandising and, um, I want to be a buyer. I wasn't sure at first what I wanted to be a buyer for, but working at Ulta, um, allowed me to be more flexible and more creative with my accessories. Therefore, I was able to realize that I'm really, really interested and have a keen eye for pieces that I think, you know, rock. Like, I think certain pieces are cute and you can wear them different ways. They don't have to be worn the way that you see them. You can put your own twist on it. Anyhow, um, that's what I want to do. And working in a cosmetic store is not going to get me there. So I'm trying to get back into fashion. And hopefully, like, by the end of this year, like, just step into buying or, you know, some kind of buying program. So that's what I'm trying to do. I have an interview today, a second interview. And um, I hope it goes well. I have really high hopes for this one. I really don't even remember applying to this company. When she called me, I was like, what the hell, I'll go in anyway. So I, like I said, I do not even remember applying, but I have high hopes and I think it's going to go well. I'm trying to get dressed. I don't even know what I'm going to wear, but let me show you guys some of the stuff that I have accumulated. Um, I want to say the past couple weeks and yeah, cute stuff. I take this issue off. I went to Boston to see my sister and... I like it down there. Like, when I was up here, I wanted these pair of shoes, these boots from Marshalls. I went into Marshalls. They had only the small sizes. Whoever wears a size 5, 6, 7, I hate you. And I do. I, I hate you because your size is always left. So you get all the good cute shoes for a cheap-ass price. And the people that stuck wearing size 9 through 10, 9 and a half, we don't get crap. Because, what the devil? Where did it come from? We gets nothing because for every 12 pair of shoes they said they give you one nine, one nine and a half, one ten. But anyhow, when I went to Boston, I went to the Marshalls down there and they had my boots. They had my boots. I was so happy. They had the nine, the nine and a half, and the ten. So these are the boots I wanted so bad. These are so freaking cute and comfortable. Haven't even worn them yet. The regular price was 50 and I got them for 29 you guys can't see that. Look, trust me, it says $29. Got them for $29, and I was I was so freaking happy because Boston has my size. So that's one pair of shoes that I bought. And then before, oh, the stuff is everywhere. I don't have it like all laid out because I didn't plan to do this video. But before I went down to Boston, um, I went to a store called... It's called Get the Look, but it used to be Eternity Fashions, and I got these bad boys. I don't want to touch the bottom because I wore them before. Oh, tell me these are not cute. It's like a slouch kind of boot with a little chain to the back, and then the peekaboo toe. And these were only $26, bucks, 26 and they're comfortable. They are so comfortable. Love them. So those two pair of shoes... What else did I buy? This damn shirt that I got on. That little sale that I told you guys guys were bah, was going on at um, Max Rave. How about the Max Rave is not closing anymore? They finally decided last minute to renew the lease. Um, the company did a few stores, and the one down 69th Street was one of the stores that they renewed the lease on, so they're not closing anymore. But I got this shirt. This is a halter. And it is freaking cute. I think I might have paid like $8 for it because it was 16 So I might have paid like $8, if not less. And I, <laughs> I never wear my size. So those people who are extra large, you guys probably hate me because I go into the stores and I take your size. I hate my clothes being stuck onto me. So I always get like a bigger size. Especially when it's a ruffle kind of shirt because you can get such a like more ruffles out of it if you get a larger size at least for me the wear that I the way that I wear it I end up getting a whole lot more ruffle so that's one shirt and when I was in Boston I got this from the Walmart I just thought it was such a cute shirt like I'm a ruffle type of girl I love me some ruffles 
show you guys what they look like. I don't know what to wear today. I really do not know what to wear. Ugh. And this one is an extra large. I'm sorry, you guys. I always take the extra larges. Look. So cute. My sister was like, oh, this is an extra large. You should let me have that. Negative. This is um, it's by Miley Cyrus, and it's a Max Azaria shirt, like his brand. So that one I got from Walmart. That one was 12 bucks, and I also got it in a different color. But I got two different sizes. That one is an extra large. This one is a large. But they're the same shirt. This one is just like a purple leopard kind of print. But it's the same kind of shirt. That one was 12 bucks also. <sighs> Do you not see like I'm infatuated with prints? This one I got from Max Rave when they had that sale going on. And this one is a medium. I wanted a bigger size, but they didn't have it. They were gone. This. Oh, love it, love it, love it. This right here. This is also one of those Miley Cyrus Max's area things from Walmart. It's just like a little um, white feeder top, and then it has the fluffy little tutu to the bottom. And this one was marked for 20 but I think I might have gotten it for... um. Yeah, I got it for $12. I had my eye on this forever when I was down in, um, when I was in Philly. But this one I got from Boston when I went there. Sweatpants that fit. They are amazing. And um, these, baby, like, they give you booty. If you're not blessed in the booty department, these bad boys will give you booty. <laughs> Me, my cousin, we saw them in there. Um, I got three colors. I got the pink brown and then the turquoise the turquoise is back there somewhere but they are fab like they are so freaking comfortable love them like they're long they're comfortable <sighs> moving right along moving right along this is my favorite piece out of all the stuff that i bought for the past few weeks and i got this also from um that store called the look anybody that knows me know that i am not a dress type of girl and if I do wear a dress, it's not going to be worn as a dress. But, oh, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, right here, this here thing is going to do the work. My walkers are going to be out. I love this. I love this freaking dress. I saw it and I had to try it on. Like, it was instant freaking love. I got it for $34.99. So I'm going to get the look. I like it because it's, it's really short. That's not why I like it, but it just fits so nice. And I can change this belt for a different color, and I can play around with it. I got big hopes and dreams for this. I might wear it for Valentine's Day. I don't know. But, you guys, um, that's about it. I have a few other things that I can show you, but it's nothing really important, nothing major. Mm. Shirts and shrugs and stuff. This is another lace type shirt. Well, the back of it is lace. This is really cute though. Now I look at it on camera though. It's Karu. Got this from um, Max Rave. Then I got a few shrugs. Eh, nothing major. These I got from Joyce Leslie. They were 10 bucks. So I got two. But that's a, ooh, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. You guys probably saw this in one of my other videos. Oh, this. Damn, this bad boy right here. Oh, Jesus Lord. You have been so good to me. Oh. It goes like... Well, it's open, so I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I'll, I'll show you what, what the effect is. It's basically like this. Oh. Come on, you can do it. Basically goes like so... And it is Karoot. Ten dollars. Dots. Anyway, you guys, that's my little haul. And I'm going to play in some of this stuff and try to get dressed. So until next time, keep rising. I'll let you guys know how the interview go. I have high hopes. I have the secret by my side. And your girl is going to have a new job. So until next time, you guys, keep rising. And hopefully you guys can hear me because I've been getting complaints like, I can't hear you. Can you hear me now?